بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ومن تبع بإحسان إلى يوم الدين All the praises for Allah, the Lord of everything and I ask Allah to send peace and salutation upon Prophet Muhammad and whoever follows Prophet Muhammad in good deeds on the day of judgment or the day of reckoning so welcome to our other sitting of Usul al-Thalatha, the three fundamental principles. Now in this sitting tonight, I'll try to go through what are the three fundamental principles that Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab have mentioned in his book. Okay, let's start. So if you, if you are asked who, what are the three fundamental principles? You should reply that the slave knows his Lord, who is Allah. He knows his religion. And he knows his prophet, Muhammad, that was sent with this religion. Now, the first principle. So if it's said to you, how did you come to know about Allah being your Lord? You should reply, Allah is the one that has nurtured me and provides for me. He blesses me through his bounties and he is the only deity I worship and I don't worship anything else with him. What's the proof for this? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. And all praises for Allah, the Lord of everything. If it's said to you, how did you come to know that Allah is your Lord? You should reply, through his signs of his creation, from the signs of the sun, the moon, the night, the day, and also from the heavens, the seven heavens and the earth. What's the proof for this? And the creation of the heaven and the earth is greater than the creation of mankind. And also, there's another proof. إِن كُنْتُمْ إِيَّاهُ تَعْبُدُونَ And from his signs are the night and the day, and the night and the day, and the sun and the moon. Do not prostrate to the sun nor the moon, but prostrate to Allah, the one that created all of them. Also, the saying of Allah, Inna rabbakum allahu alladhi khalaqu al-samawati wal-arda fi sitta yati ayyamin thumma stawa. Inna rabbakum allahu alladhi khalaqu al-samawati wal-arda fi sitta yati ayyamin thumma stawa ala al-arsh. Yukhshi al-layla wal-nahar yutlubuhu hathithan wal-shamsu wal-qamar. Wal-shamsu wal-qamu wal-nujum musakharatim bi-amri. أَلَا لَهُ الْخَلْقُ وَالْأَمْرُ تَبَارَكَ اللَّهُ رَبُّ الْعَالَمِينَ Chapter A'raf Your Lord is Allah, who created the heavens and the earth in six days. Then He ascended up on the throne. He causes a night to cover the day, which is followed with haste. And the sun, the moon, and the stars are subservient and subjected to his command. Certainly creation and the commandments are only for him. Exalted is Allah, the Lord of all creation. The creator is the one deserving of all of acts of worship. He's the one that created you, so he is then deserved of all acts of worship that a Muslim does in his life. The Lord is one, and he is worshipped alone, 
What's the proof of this? Ya ayyuhan nasu abudu rabbakum alladhi khalaqakum walladhina min qablikum. La'allakum tattaqoon. Alladhi ja'ala lakum al-ard firashaw wa s-samaa binaa. والسماء بناء وأنزل من السماء ماء فأخرج به من الثمرات رزقا لكم رزقا لكم فلا تجعلوا لله أندادا وأنتم تعلمون سورة البقرة O mankind, worship your Lord who created you and those that were before you so that you can become from amongst the pious or have taqwa. He is the one that has made the earth a resting place for you and as the sky as a canopy for you. He has sent waters down from the skies and brought forth therein fruits, a provision for you. Then do not set up rivalries, rivalry up unto Allah in any acts of worship while you know that. Ibn Kathir, may Allah have mercy upon him, said, the one who created you has the right to be worshipped. Now let's move on to the different types of worship. Allah is signaled, signal, Allah is signaled out, signal, singled out in all acts of worship. The type of worship are in different forms. Islam, which means complete submission. Iman, which is true belief in the, in the heart, on the tongue, and through the limbs. And Ihsan is the perfection of worship. Now let's go through the different types of worship. The first is which? Dua, which is remembering your Lord, Dua. Make, remember, dear Lord, make it invocation or supplication. Al Khawf, having fear of Him all the time. Al Raja, having hope in Him, knowing that He will make your affairs easy. At Tawakkal, reliance, putting your trust totally in Allah that He will help you and you should not seek reliance from any other creation. Arrogba, having desire, desire, using your desire to worship your Lord. Arrogba, dread. Khushua, humility. Khushia, oh. Inaba, turning to Allah in repentance. Istaada, asking Allah for His help. And istaada, seeking refuge with Allah. And istighatha, seeking, um, seeking rescue from Allah. Dhabh, sacrificing for only Allah. And never making vows by using Allah's word only. And using statements that only pleases Allah. Or what the Prophet ﷺ has directed through the Sunnah. Now what's the proof? The proof for this is the saying of the Most High. وَأَنَّ الْمَسَاجِدَ لِلَّهِ فَلَا تَدَعُوا مَعَ اللَّهِ أَحَدًا Surah Al-Jinn And the place of prayer are only for Allah. So do not invoke anyone with Allah. And whoever directs any form of acts of worship to other than Allah is a polytheist. He's, he comes out of the religion of Islam. His acts of worship should be solely for Allah, the one that created him. وَمَنْ يَدْعُ مَعَ اللَّهِ إِلَهًا آخَرْ لَا بَرْهَانَ لَهُ بِهِ فَإِنَّمَا حِسَابُهُ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِ إِنَّهُ لَا يُفْلِحُ الْكَافِرُونَ Surah Al-Mu'minun 
whoever worship other than Allah and any other objects has no proof for this. His reckoning is with his Lord. And indeed, the disbelievers will never be successful. Also, there's a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ that said, supplications are the, cure of, the core of worship. The proof for the different types of worship can be followed now. The evidence for the above understanding is the saying of Allah. وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمُ ادْعُنِي أَسْتَجِبَ لَكُمْ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ اسْتَكْبِرُوا عَنْ عِبَادَتِي سَيَدْخُلُونَ جَهَنَّمَ دَاخِلِينَ Surah Al-Ghafir Your Lord said, Invoke me, I will respond to your invocation. Verily, those who scorn my worship will surely enter in the hellfire in humiliation. The evidence for khawf is the saying of the Most High. إِنَّمَا ذَلِكُمُ الشَّيْطَانِ يُخَوِّفُ أَوْلِيَاءَ فَلَا تُخَافُوهُمْ وَخَافُنِ إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ So do not fear them, but fear me. Me, but fear me. And be, and beware of disbelieving in me. If you are truly believers, and the proof for a raja, which is a saying of which, and the proof for raja is a saying of Allah. فَمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُو لِقَاءَ رَبِّهِ فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا وَلَا يُشْرِكْ عِبَادَةِ رَبِّهِ أَحَدًا Surah Al Chapter Kaf. Whoever hopes to meet his Lord and be rewarded by Him then let him not worship other than him, worship other than Allah, and worship Allah purely, sincerely, and let him do all acts of worship that's according to the sunnah, the way of the Prophet And this is in chapter Kahf. And evidence for tawakkal, which is a reliance, tawakkal, which is a reliance, is a saying of the Most High. وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَلْيَتَوَكَّلُوا إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ And place your reliance and trust in Allah, if you, true, if you are true believers. This is in Surah Al-Ma'idah. Another, another evidence, وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ this is in Surah Talaqa, verses 3. Verses 3, chapter, chapter, chapter Talaq, verses 65. And the evidence for Raghbah, which is desire, and Rahbah, which is dread, and Khushur, humility, is the saying of the Most High. إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا يَسَارِعُونَ فِي الْخَيْرَاتِ وَيَدْعُونَنَا رَغَبًا وَرَهَبًا وَكَانُوا لَنَا خَاشِعِينَ Chapter Anbi Al-Anbiya And they used to hasten to acts of devotion and obedience to Allah And they used to worship, up, worship Allah upon love and desire And upon fear And were reverent and humble and the evidence for khushya, or is the saying of the Most High. فَلَا تُخَافُوهُمْ وَخَافُونِي إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ And the evidence, so do not awe or fear them, but awe of me, but have awe of me, which is to fear me. The evidence of inaba, the turning to Allah in repentance, is the saying of the Most High. وَأَنِيبُوا إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ وَأَسْلِمُوا لَهِ So turn repentantly and obediently to your Lord and submit obediently to Him. This is in chapter Zumar. The evidence for istana, the seeking of assistance, is the saying of the Most High. إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ O oh Allah, you alone we worship, you alone we appeal for aid. And also the hadith, if you seek help, then seek the help of Allah. 
and the evidence of, of isti'adha is the saying of the Most High. Qul a'udhu bi rabbil thalaqa. Say, I seek refuge with Allah, the Lord of the dawn. Qul, uh, this is another evidence. Qul a'udhu bi rabbil nas. Say, I seek refuge with Allah, the Lord of mankind. The evidence for istighatha, the seeking of rescue, is the saying of the Most High. إِذْ تَسْتَغِيثُونَ رَبَّكُمْ فَاسْتَجَابَ لَكُمْ When you sought aid and reliance of your Lord, and he, then he responded to you. And this is in chapter Anfal. And the evidence for dhabh, which is sacrificing only for Allah, is the saying of the Most High. قُلْ إِنَّ الصَّلَاةِ وَنُسْكِي وَمَحْيَا وَمَمَاتِي لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهِ Say, indeed, my prayer and my sacrifice, my living and my dying are purely for Allah, solely, purely for Allah, the Lord of all creation. There is, there is no share of any of this act of worship for other than Him. And Ihsan is the perfection of worship. It's when a believer believes or thinks and know for certain that Allah is watching him, or if he's not able to do this, he should know that he is looking at Allah. So it's one of the two. Either Allah, he has a faith when he performs an act of worship, that Allah is watching him, or if, if not able to do this, he should know or work, striving to work on the belief that he is looking at Allah in all forms of his worship. Thank you. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.